We're going places. I'm ready. <laughs> My friends and I worked for months and months planning and coordinating a fantasy fairy ball experience we called Fête du Fay. Planning a huge event that included a photo retreat, dinner, and a ball was a huge undertaking, but we finally got to see the product of all of our efforts. Come with me to get ready for and attend Fête du Fay. BTS day of crafting. What are you making? A silver version of this. Very pretty. We're making our skin nice. <laughs> it's so slimy. <laughs> <laughs> this one does not look nearly as serial killer y as normal ones. No, it looks like we are hydrated. So hydrated. Hydrated. <laughs> Easy breezy. Cover girl. <laughs> We're getting ready. You want to say hi, you're in the background. Howdy. The toilet's just back there. Great, cool, awesome. So I was going to be a fairy, but I think I'm going to be Jude instead. These are my horns. I'm going to wrap hair around them. Hi, right, so. Wow, look at that volume. <laughs> Estrella brought us matcha, so Micah made us little matcha lattes. Yeah. Is that good? <laughs> Doesn't taste like grass. <laughs> Got all my curlers in to look like an octopus. Time to do my basics. But consider the volume. The volume. I know, we'll see. to see my transformation. As you can tell, this, this bitch, she works out twice a day. She has her life together. She has a 401k. This one, what is eight hours of sleep? Doesn't exist. What the f is that? My eyebrows, they aren't even related. They're divorced. They live on opposite sides of the world. Yeah, so uh, thanks for coming to my TED talk. What did you use? The oh. on the floor. <laughs> I use this Sako brow gel. Oh. This thing is $3 on Amazon. Laminated the brows with my little e.l.f. brow lift applicator. They just released these from NYX. They have little brow stencils and I was just like, all right, you Why know what, that? I'll give it a shot because NYX doesn't really ever let you down. Straight brow was mwah, chef's kiss. It's, it's it's Oh, it's like rubbery. Yeah, it's rubbery so it yeah. can stick to the face if you need it to, but otherwise though, they have two, They have a whole bunch of different types. They have ones meant for thick brows and ones meant for thin brows. So everybody's covered. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he is a big baby. I'm not sure that I care if I can't personally see it. And also, though, because of your bangs, it kind of matches. Good. Do you have any little dinkle dangles that you want to... <laughs> dinkle dangles? You know, little dinkle dangles. dangles. <laughs> yeah. That's a technical term. I'm a very sensitive person. Yeah, I'm gonna drape some chains on it, I think. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, you like a song. Crescent roll hair! Looks like crescent roll. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful, you 
Okay, watch your face in the whole last spray. Run, run, run. Wow, snatch. All right, acceptable. Yeah. Time to finish my makeup. Oh, that looks much better already. <laughs> yeah. First of all, I'm packing on more and blending out less. This side, you had a out. decent little guy going already, so I was able to just fill it in more. And then I brought this color in like where you'd put eyeliner and over your crease. Okay, so the shape of it looks like an actual wing instead of like whatever freaking weird triangle was going on before. Yeah, I'm uh, following closer to your under eye line okay. here. And then just kind of carrying that up. And that'll, that's a good shape there. Okay, cool. <laughs> so wide as. Do you feel bonita? I do. I do feel bonita. Wonderful, because you look bonita. Awesome, I can do eyeliner now. Ta da! All right, hair, makeup done. Hopefully, I can get my costume on without ruining my hair and makeup. I was gonna do a whole like water lily fairy and then I decided that it was more effort than I wanted to do for this. So I reached out to Dress Art Mystery and asked them if I could borrow a dress and they said yes. So that's what I'm gonna be wearing today. You should check them out. They are very cool, have lots of cool designs and they are a Ukrainian brand so deserve lots of support. Not that other brands don't, but you know. This outfit actually comes with pants, but I don't think the pants are gonna fit my hips because things don't tend to fit my hips. So I'm gonna be wearing it with an underskirt that I made for a Zelda cosplay a while ago. So that was kind of my workaround. You'll see when I have the whole thing on. That's it, all right, let's get dressed. Okay, so to make the rest of the costume blend with the white underskirt, I actually am gonna be wearing a like under dress that I already own. This was made by the really amazing I Do Declare for the green sleeves project that I was a part of, which has not been like, the content hasn't re been released yet. So, but that vlog will come in the future. This is the underdress that Kelsey made for me for green leaves. So I'm gonna put that on first. All right, this is kind of see-through. So, you know, but it's on. I've got pajama shorts underneath. And now I am gonna stick this like shirt on top of it. Yay, second shirt on, it's still a little see-through, but I'm gonna have a bodice over top of it. I was actually thinking of doing like a fairy queen look for this, but then I was thinking about it and thought that I wanted to dress up as Jude from Cruel Prince, so that's what I did. Um, so I've got these hair horns, and I was able to get both of these layer on with minimal damage to the hair horns. I don't know, you can kind of see the headband underneath it, but I don't I don't think I care. It kind of matches my bangs right now, so it's, it's fine. Zelda skirt is next. There's a lot of layers going on here. I'm gonna be very warm. All right, that was skirt number one, ready for skirt number two. It's got all this cute little lace detailing. And time for the bodice. The bodice is gonna take me a while to lace up. I'll be back. All right, bodice is all laced up. We just got a little peplum and then the sleeves and then we're done. So it comes with this little peplum that just goes like on top, just wraps around just like that. And then the front ends just tuck in like that. So it's really simple. It kind of like bridges the gap between the bodice and the lighter skirt. I'm gonna put my jewelry on before I do the sleeves just because it'll be a little easier. I made this little guy yesterday, two days ago. I've been seeing these necklaces on Instagram a lot and I really wanted one. So I decided to just make one and I think it turned out pretty cute. Look at that. And then I also made some little matching earrings. Oh, I'm so shiny already. It's really hot. <laughs> Look, it's got a little star. Ta-da! Okay, and now sleeves. I'll probably do all my other stuff that I have to do before going, before I put sleeves on, but I wanna see the full effect. And then these were the pants that came with it. They're really cute, but I tend to have wider hips than um, the like standard measurements give, so these I don't think would fit over my hips. I decided that I liked this look better with the skirts underneath, so I don't really mind either way. I think I actually will like this like general aesthetic better than with pants. I don't wear pants much. I thought it was really cool that this is two separate pieces, so it's like a shirt and then the sleeves are just entirely separate and I think that makes it easier to make for one, but it also makes it so that you can wear them separately, so you can also like have a separate shirt as well. That's it. That is the finished look. I'm very happy with it. I'm excited to wear this. Yay. Oh wait, I still have one thing. I have a crown. 
All right, now that I walked up and down some stairs, I am <laughs> very glad I decided not to go the wings route. I am already like overheating in this and I think that having the wings would have just been really frustrating all night. This last piece is from Epona Valley. It's so pretty. I'm like obsessed with all of their stuff. It's gorgeous. I'm gonna stick that there. Maybe I'll stick some danglies on the hair horns, but we'll see. If I do it, I'll show it to you guys later because I'm gonna go finish getting ready and see where everyone else is at. We're going places. <laughs> ready. I'm so sweaty. Look at look at that shine. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. Hi. Wow, who are you? Um, my name is Sue, also known as Dragon Mistress. Oh my god, you're like famous. <laughs> um, I guess maybe a little bit. <laughs> but like, not as famous as you are in my heart. <laughs> Tell me about your costume. The theme was an opal. I made it and I did my best. You did great. Thanks. You're doing amazing, sweaty. Thank you. I am sweaty. <laughs> Look, it sells cool wings on the back. Thank you all for being here. Say good to me. sitting in our house like we need one more thing to do and we should probably oh, find a bunch of friends <laughs> to join us oh. all of you guys have a great time i'm gonna see you guys over there <laughs> any words uh if you have questions i guess ask me <laughs> <laughs> nice yeah. to meet you guys Yay. thanks for coming they're so in mood you guys look so cute what a good model drive but can jaywalk. Yeah exactly. That's the New York way baby. <laughs> Her. We are new besties, but we are lifelong besties. Like, we can do anything. 
do want. I'm just saying. You have to bleep that out. It's okay. Anything that we want. Like right. No words. No. Let's go sleep it off. <laughs> Good night. Okay. Bye. No, do it again. Do it again. taken off the dress and my horns but I still gotta take out all the extensions so I'm gonna do that now and like talk about the event I guess yeah I had a good time I was very stressed out and very tired by the time the actual ball came around so I kind of like sat at the the activity table for a while and I got to hang out and just like chill so that was nice we had this really cool activity that our friend Cell suggested, one of our ambassadors. Each of the ambassadors had a charm, so like an individual charm. Mine was like a little moon with a cat. Guests could go around and collect each ambassador's charm, and then they could go to the table and make a little charm bracelet out of it. It was a really good way for like people to be able to talk to and approach ambassadors without feeling awkward about it. Probably the most difficult parts of this event were like coordinating everything and then also dealing with the venue. The venue was kind of difficult to deal with. We probably won't be going with them again. Generally, like things turned out to go a lot more smoothly than I thought they would, so that was nice. And like it was stressful, like putting all the money into this and everything, and we didn't quite break even to be quite honest. So we are gonna be putting on another event in like March because we wanna do it again and also to hopefully break even from this event on that event because um, we did not quite break even. You know, first event sometimes happens at a loss, but just to be totally honest, while I would say that it was a successful event and it was like really fun, it was also um, not financially uh, profitable, I guess. But I'm like so grateful to all of our ambassadors and all of our friends for helping out how they did. Like they really pulled through. I don't know if this is actually a good way to store extensions, but this is how I store them. I just clip them to a piece of like cardstock and wrap them around. I'm kind of sad that I was so full from dinner that I couldn't eat any of the food that we had at the ball. I think I tried like the fried oyster, which was just kind of mediocre. There was a duck quesadilla and that was actually really good. We also had an open bar, which I don't know, was kind of a point of contention with the venue actually and they would not let us take the extra alcohol home even though we had paid for all of it so that was irritating but what are you gonna do i think the biggest problem was really the venue it was like really expensive and i don't think that this venue particularly was worth how expensive it was like it was really beautiful but they were difficult to work with and I would not want to host like a wedding there. That just sounds really unpleasant and like not people I would want to deal with on like a day that's supposed to be really special because they were kind of jerks throughout the whole process. So that was not ideal, but all of the guests and everything were super great. Everyone was really nice. I feel so much better though. My hair is like full of dry shampoo, but yeah, that's pretty much all I'm gonna do for tonight. We got Taco Bell, I'm gonna drink a bunch of water, and then I'm gonna go to sleep. Thanks for watching. If you came to the ball, thanks for coming. And I will see you probably like 30 seconds later in this video. Oh, bye. First and last, where's the Taco Bell? I'm at the Pizza Hut. I'm at the Taco Bell. I'm We're at, at the, the combination, combination Pizza Hut and Taco Bell. Bell. <laughs> Please don't copyright me.